Hi everyone. Sound check. How do I sound to you guys? Sound good? Hello. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about not reaching stream on time because it'll be saved. So don't worry. Yeah, what about now? Normal talking voice. Sounds good as always. Really, a bit quiet. Mm. Okay, let me change something then. There, how about now? How's my voice? Okay, wait. I'm going to green. Hello, hello. A bit quiet. Uh, it's always audio. But yeah, woo! <laughs> how about now? I don't know why it changed. I don't really touch the audio. This is your first time being on stream? Welcome! Okay, how about now? <laughs> Louder is always better than quiet? Okay, then give me one second while I try something here. <laughs> Voice is perfect, thank you, but it needs to be louder. Uh, audio mute. Oh gosh. Hmm. Hold on, let me try something, but... Filters. Is it that one? Is it? Oh gosh. Uh, I forgot how to change the audio more than now. I guess I'll try to speak loudly. What if I just speak loudly right now? Wouldn't want to spend too much time. <laughs> I don't know why it undid the filter. What program? I'm drawing on Clip Studio. Audio is fine? Alright, I'll just uh, try to speak loudly. So before we begin, you know what? I'll just start. So good afternoon everybody and welcome to the stream. So today we'll be drawing like a frost and fire themed character. And whatchamacallit? Where's my notes? I gotta get my notes. <laughs> and before that, before we begin, uh, in case you guys didn't know, our community is filled with tons of art nerds, and we art nerds have to stick together. If you're an art nerd too, be sure to check out our links to the social media in the description below, and check out our website for our class offerings where you can get critique, guidance, and encouragement from our instructors, because we're not just a YouTube channel, we're an art, st art school too. If you'd like to support us so we could keep making free content, consider supporting us by becoming a YouTube member, and for exclusive channel perks like emotes and sub badges or supporting us on Patreon for as little as $2 per month where you could get access to tons of perks like my working files, critique sessions, class recordings, and a huge discount on our classes that have a limited amount of spots. So be sure to check those out before they're gone. Yeah. And doop. Yeah, so many links. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what changing re resolution does it uh fixes it <laughs> so all right sorry about the little delay in the beginning so i guess i'll just get started on designing our character here get my little doodle out of the way so we know for sure that our theme is going to be frost and fire and before every great drawing there's always planning so the best way to start is to always list down the traits. List the traits of the theme you're having. So in this case, it'd be frost and fire. And I want to focus on positive traits for this one. Because I know frost is always associated with sadness and stuff. Yeah, hello. <laughs> so for fire, I think it's lively and energetic because when I think of fire it's always moving you know it's never still and I feel like that'd be a good trait to have for our character today and for frost I think it's it's still you know it's literally like frozen solid just a block of ice or hmm I guess calm would be another one 
Yeah, Frost could be calm. Yeah. Read my mind. <laughs> and what else? Maybe Serene would be a nice one. Because I think it's very geometric. Because when I think of a of Frost, I think of Snowflakes, which is really symmetrical. If you've ever seen one for under the microscope. It's really crazy how geometric it is and perfect. That's why I add Serene. Yeah, passionate for fire, for sure. Yeah, erratic and unpredictable. Let's see. I'll add that. Passionate. That's like the first step, as always. Kind of spiky and the fire character is smooth. Hmm. I'll think about it when we get there. And the second step would be to personify. And what I mean by personify is we grab all of these traits and try to fit it into a person. And it's always a key to making a great character design. And I feel like the traits we listed are actually pretty personable already. So I'll keep that. Hmm, Frost is vibes. Faux show. Very chill. And I feel like the second part we already did it. These uh, traits that we listed down are already pretty personable. And the next step is associate. And before I continue more, actually, I forgot to mention that we had a poll for what kind of theme the fashion was going to be. And what won is actually fantasy. Frost and fire plus fantasy. I gotta add that as well, actually. So, associate. Hmm. So for fantasy, what I associate with fantasy is like knights. Knights and monarchs, I feel like. I feel like that'd be a nice fit for frost and fire. Frost is cool. Yeah, we should add armor, yeah. So if we're going with knights and monarchs i feel like a knight would fit fire more fire and a monarch would fit you know frost because of the traits we listed down you know you'd want like a still and calm princess or king or whatever monarch and you'd want a lively knight so i feel like that'd be perfect and what i associate with fire this time, instead of a trait, I'm going to try to associate an object with it. A fun object to design with. So already with frost, I put snowflake. Yeah, a frost knight would be cool. Let's see. Ice exterior. Yeah. And for fire, hmm, I think of like a furnace. I feel like that'd be a nice one. And I feel like it'd really fit in with... With the night aesthetic, you know. And what else? Hmm. Always good to note down everything. And I read the comments of the poll, actually. Uh, somebody mentioned a really good point. You know, you do a lot of research for designing a character. And you can, like, connect certain cultures and stuff. But to me, my general tip for researching for a design is... It could be as complicated or as deep as you want it to be, you know. A simple design isn't always bad, and uh, a well-researched uh, design, you know, that took like days to design, won't always make for a good one, you know. So we'll see. And I guess this is enough of a list to go off of, and I think I'm gonna start off with fire, just because I really like designing knights right here so i'm gonna start off with fire icicles for frost yeah maybe once we get to frost and i think for designing it's really important to think of the time you have in my case i only have like an hour 30 so i don't think i'll spend too much time worrying about anatomy so, I won't make it too 
complicated anatomy was. And I'll make it more cutesy, I think. I feel like it'd fit in the, uh, the aesthetic what we're going for. Yeah, pottery. For sure. And boop. Permafrost. I don't know, I feel like I prefer the night to be the fire in this case. And for this one, going back to associate, you know, one of the traits you the, one of the traits you listed was lively. So now I'm gonna draw with more curves. Because I feel like curves have a lot of movement to them. Right here. Then, like I mentioned earlier, I'll keep the keep the anatomy simple right here. I'll just add the thumb pointer and then just do that. Because I don't want to focus too much on that. I want to focus on designing. And I've mentioned this in a lot of my design streams. I like to make more than quality. You know, quality or quantity over quality for now. Because we don't know what our character is going to look like yet. A flame sword. Yeah, that'd be cool. Ooh, that's nice. And another trait I was thinking, actually, is that fire always goes up. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but... Always goes up, no matter what. There's no fire that goes down like this. So maybe I'll try to keep that in theme. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, floaty fire here. It's perfect. And I'm trying to think of a way. Maybe the helmet could be like some sort of chimney. Let's see. I feel like the armor should be lighter, considering fire is constantly moving. That's a good point. Yeah, I like that line of thinking. That's the line of thinking you should keep when you're designing. Always design wisely. So, maybe... Hmm, this is how I like to design armor, actually. I like to hug the shape. Maybe... Something like this? Let's see. I'll try this shape. Just a nice helmety shape. Then maybe it's like popping up from the back. Like the helmet is redirecting the fire. Right there. And let's see. Flames her hair. Yeah, it's the best kind of design. And another key to making a good character design is the silhouette. And already, I really like the silhouette of what we've come up with here. Yeah, ice. Maybe for ice, we could do like a dress that goes down like this or something. For later on. We'll get there. And I think I could hide the notes. Let's see. Or make it smaller. <laughs> yeah, like Hades. Yeah. Let's see. Could. Yeah. Hmm. So I already like the helmet design that we've come up with. Let me erase this. Hmm. Ice keeps flame calm and check. Yeah, I like that dynamic as well. That they could have. Or another idea I have is maybe they're foreign. They're like foreign from each other. Maybe from they're from different com blah, blah, blah. <laughs> They're from different kingdoms, that's what I'm trying to say. Getting tongue tied. Different kingdoms. 
So maybe I'll try to keep them separate. Yeah, I feel like fantasy is my favorite. My favorite uh, setting to draw in. Yeah, light armor that kind of goes with smoke. I just thought of an idea, actually. So... Maybe I'll wear the... Put the armor... And the shoulder plate. Maybe something like this, like a really nice shape. Kind of like a football. Uh, what are what are they called? Armor? Football armor? <laughs> football gear, I guess, a bit. Yeah, we could put a sun on the chest plate. These are really good ideas. But I just thought of one actually, I was gonna share my idea. What if we have like, sort of a grill here, and then that's where the smoke could come out. So kind of like this pattern. Like this. Yeah, shoulder pads. And let's see, if I added the sun, or maybe the sun could be on the side actually, on here. Like these little protectors. Yeah, and about armor. These circles aren't actually here to connect to the chest plate. It's actually to protect the little gap. That's one thing I found. Because without the circle, the armpit is completely exposed. So with that little circle over there, it protects the gap. That's what it's usually for. So maybe I'll add a sun. And then... Yeah, it could have the shape of flames. Hmm. I don't know about the shape of flames, but we could try. Just because I think the hair should be the biggest flame. But we'll see. I'll try it later. But generally, it is good to try all your ideas, because you'll never know if it's good or not, until you see. Because sometimes it sounds bad on paper, but maybe it is. So, we'll try that. So, Shape of Flame. And if you're doing this on pen and paper, you know, don't be afraid to waste as much paper as you want. Use as much paper as you need. And for digital, Try to use as much layers as you need. Or, hmm, let me try. What if instead of smoke, it's it's actually fire? Let's see. Like this. I don't know how I feel about this one. Maybe at the end of the hair, it could be wispy like smoke. Possibly. But I think so far, I don't want there to be too much flames to get in the way, but we'll see. I'll hide, well, actually I'll hide this for now, set this back, and I wanted it to be cutesy. So I'll try like... Yeah, maybe chibi eyes would be better. So this is how I like to draw my eyes, to keep them the same. Draw them at the same time. Okay. Bright amber eyes. Possibly. Let's see. Yeah. Because I was thinking of making her skin color orange. But we'll see. We got the disguise. 
Man. I like... Hmm. What about fire eyebrows? I feel like fire eyebrows would look kind of funny. Let me try that. Maybe the smoke could be the armor in some way. Yeah. Doop. Yeah, I think if I had time, I would try out all my ideas. But it's also good to budget your time. Because we gotta remember that we're designing two here. Two characters. One ice, one frost. So I can't really spend too much time here. I don't know, how are we feeling about the the fire eyebrows? I feel like it makes sense because the hair is fire. So maybe in some way like all hair is replaced by a flame. This. This. And doot doot. I kind of like it. Personally. And this is one thing to note. Whenever you're doing any sort of drawing project, it's always important to think about how much time you have. Because how much time you have is what decides how long you would spend and how much effort you would want to do on an artwork. Like for example, for me, uh, I only have the stream to design both these characters, so I gotta make snap decisions, you know? But, you know, say I had like a week, maybe I'd spend more time experimenting. Yeah, it's important to decide based on time you have, because you wouldn't want to spend forever on a design either, right? Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> And always remember that spending more time doesn't always mean, you know, it's a better artwork. So, hmm. Kinda like this design so far. Or actually, maybe the sun could be on the forehead. Right here. It's like the... Let's see to come up with like a cutesy design and you know i'm gonna use waves to represent like the sun i'll see how i feel about it and then in the corners maybe it's simpler yeah yeah deadlines <laughs> Also, on the topic of effort, let's see, you know, right now we're designing a character, you know, we want to design the best possible character, and, you know, sometimes it's okay to stick to your, to your comfort zone here, because when you try to make your best, you try to stay a little bit in your comfort zone, and when you're learning, that's when you should step out of your comfort zone, because when you're learning, you're focusing on like trying new things but at the same time you know you're practicing so that you could better what you like to draw but if you're drawing for results it's pretty good if you stay within what you're comfortable with but then you make it great you know make it as great as possible So it's all about deciding, you know. Ooh, fire wings? Hmm, I think that'd be too much for this design. Just looking at it right now. Because I feel like the shoulder pads, right? If I added wings, it feels a bit too busy now. I think I'll just stick to a knight. So... Maybe... Let's 
stick to like a, a little thing here. And I really want to keep the design symmetrical. Because you gotta remember that knights, they're sort of like a bodyguard to, to royalty. And maybe they're like in uniform. And when I think of a uniform, I think it's pretty symmetrical, you know, very orderly. So I'll stick to a really symmetrical design here. And I just think of like poofy... What time is it? Okay. Think of poofy sleeves here. And then... Maybe a cape would be nicer than a wing. A pair of wings, I mean. Let's see. Maybe like that? Or... Or maybe I'll try another idea I had, which is having a cloak. Get rid of you. I don't know how a cloak would be. Maybe like this? Hmm. If I symmetrical, then we could make Frost asymmetrical. That's true. We could. We could try that. <laughs> it's usually the opposite, you know? Uh, let's see. It's good to compare and contrast your ideas as well when you're designing. So, I would like that. I kind of like this one better than the cloak idea since it's already pretty poofy anyway. And Hmm. Cuz I really like this grill aesthetic. So what if <laughs> what if we tried Actual grills, you know, like like this pattern somewhere on the armor. Kind of like the grills you would cook with. I feel like that'd be cute if we added grills somewhere. So maybe on here. Just to add. Oh, boots? Of course. Yeah, I love boots. And I really like the poofy sleeves, because it's very free-flowing, you know. It feels really airy and nice to move around in. Or maybe add this. Just add like layers to the armor, maybe. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Gold jewelry. Yeah. That'd be nice, because I was thinking of like a really red and orange color scheme for this one. But I feel like I gotta wrap this design up real quick, because we still gotta design the Ice Queen here. So I'll see, actually. I'll add like a simple... Hmm. Design here. And notice that the way I'm drawing, I'm drawing really lightly with light strokes. Because we're still trying to figure out this design. It's not final. So it's really important to not make any commitments yet. Because we might change a couple things. But so far, I really like it. <laughs> when the gold melt, we could say it's magic gold, you know. I feel like this cape would burn off as well, you know. So, I think we could suspend our disbelief. Right here. Beep. Beep. Alright, what do you guys think of this design? Because I feel like I gotta wrap up 
this design scene, this fire design. Because I really like it. Add some scorch marks. Ooh. Let's see. Let me try that. Yeah, these are really good suggestions. And I can't stress it enough, you know, always try. Always try your stuff. Don't feel overcommitted and, you know, not erase things. Just, it's okay. You know, we're exploring what kind of design would be good. Yeah, I'm trying to see scorch marks on the cape. Hmm, it doesn't look very formal, so maybe not scorch marks, I'll erase that. Let's see, and I feel like the neck, let's see. Yeah, I feel like this should be good enough for our fire character, because we still gotta Discover. Oh, add sparks. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. Maybe like embers around her. Hmm. I'm not sure about adding sparks actually because sparks, they come from friction. So let's say they're rubbing against something and then the sparks come out. Or embers come from something burning. So like let's say we have a campfire, right? Embers are actually pieces of wood and fire combined together, being blown in the wind. And I think it wouldn't make sense if something was burning in her outfit, so maybe not. So these are the type of stuff you should think about when you're designing. But I gotta admit, that is pretty cool though. That would be pretty cool if she was constantly dripping embers. Maybe, we'll see when we're coloring. But yeah, I gotta make the snap decision. I'll put her aside. Because I really want to color them both. So. Moving on to Frost. So. Like I said earlier, I think they're very still and geometric. So maybe I want her to be looking this side. So earlier, I drew with a lot of curves, so maybe this time I'll draw with a lot of... A lot more straight lines. And maybe erase a little bit. Maybe she's way taller. Let's see. What if just the character effect, the fire? Oh, yeah. I could come up with like a little backstory for her. <laughs> it's cool. And I feel like I want them to have a uniting feature. Because even though they're really different, I want them to have something that ties them together. Okay. But we'll figure that out. She's standing still and looks way more reserved, I think. But I don't want her to be too reserved. So I'll leave like one foot up like this. So we got our silhouette. Okay, maybe not that tall. Yeah, poofy clothes. Ooh, sharpen that's a really good point. Sharp and jagged. Um I know I mentioned this earlier, but you know it's very geometric. 
So, hmm. What if I design her with more straight lines like this? So let's see. I feel like a big collar would be nice. Or maybe not. How about big sleeves? I always like big sleeves. I like to put big sleeves on characters because having broad shoulders is usually a sign of authority, you know? Like when somebody wears a suit, you know, I think of business, you know, they mean business. And I think it was back in the 80s, correct me if I'm wrong. This is a trend where you would wear suits that had really like poofy shoulders like that. Or like shoulders that stick out. Think about Molecule. Oh. Yeah, I think for armor, that would be cool, but I'm trying to think of like a queen. A queenly outfit. Hmm. I wonder if this would be good. Yeah, I feel like. I'm gonna change her. Feet like this. Make them similar. Add fluffy clothes with fur. I could try that. For so far, I'm really attached to like this fur design. Or not for the, the sleeve design, I mean, sorry. Uh, that. Hmm, what if I added fur like that? Maybe not. Maybe a dress, but ends, but the ends fade into snow. That would be nice. So. Hmm. Because when I think of fur, it doesn't feel very royal. It feels really hunter-like. That's what I think of when I think of fur. You know, somebody who lives in the wild life. But then again, it could be like a sign of... Yeah, that, that's a good point actually to add fur. Maybe like this. Or... Hmm. Ice is almost heavy and gloomy. Yeah, I'm trying to focus on more positive traits for this one. Just so, you know, they could match with each other. Maybe I'll try... Or actually, I'll try this one without. And then I'll leave this one right here. Boop, boop. Crystal heels, yeah. Cinderella style heels. That would be nice. But I kind of want her to run around with the knight. So maybe not heels. Maybe on a party. So maybe just normal slippers. Would be... Well, glass slippers, I'd say. So if I want her to be running around, maybe pants. Dress in pants. Would be good. Let's see. Up. <laughs> Boots? Maybe. Yeah, but I feel like slippers would be more graceful than boots. Because the knight's already wearing boots. Pants. Or I did say geometric. Let me try something. What if I tried something like this? So it's like really, really jagged. This permafrost, it's kind of spiky and looks like it's blooming. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll add like 
the fur at the bottom, maybe? Like here? Or maybe instead of fur, it's like frost. Like one of you guys mentioned. So I'll leave that for now. Maybe I'll try that. And... Under... I wanted to be wearing a dress. A dress coat of some sort. Then her hand. Yeah, you can see that I'm not really putting too much detail in the hand. Because I got other stuff to think about for now, other than getting my hand anatomy right. I'll save that for later, when we're actually working on it. Uh, no, sorry, there's no... I don't think I could change my mic right now, unless like I take the time. Let's see. Maybe I'll try. I'll try. Uh, powder. About 50 minutes left. I guess I could try. Speed run. Okay. Uh, um, sorry. Technical difficulties. I'll try. Left side, click on the audio. Hmm. Yeah, speedrun music. <laughs> audio mixer. Um. Hmm. Maybe not. Do 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 do. <laughs> nah. Not that I'm struggling, I just uh, hate to take stream, stream time. Uh, let me try. One. Get those properties. Events. Okay, let me try. Okay, I've been, I'm gonna try this now. Hello, how about now? I hope, uh, it's fine when I talk loud, but some of my comments are- okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm kinda soft-spoken, this is my bad. <laughs> okay, how about now? I change it. It's fine? Alright. Alright, yeah, speedrun complete. World record. It's my PB, personal best. Change on stream. But yeah, I think I've gotten used to streaming, it's, uh... Really nice to streaming to you all. Because I think before, that would have made me like a nervous wreck. I'd be like, oh no, <laughs> my volume. But now, it's whatever. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. But anyway... Where were we? Ice? Hmm, love the coat. Oh, you gotta go back to cleaning? Well, the stream will always be here, you know? Just not live. A cloak. Yeah, see ya. But I think I really want to design her face. I'm gonna... Right here. Yeah, BRB. Alright. Let me erase this a little bit, actually. Keep it light. So maybe I'll keep her eyes really... Like... Like, relaxed. With this one. But I don't necessarily want her to give off the vibe that she's... Serious. I want her to be more... Serene. Like the, like the note we wrote down earlier. Pointy ears with icicle earrings. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be a nice idea, actually. Let's see. Maybe I'll try to match with her. 
Yeah. You know, I'm really bad with naming, actually. <laughs> I never name my OCs. Just because it's so hard to commit to one. How could you decide on the perfect name, you know? Oh, add. <laughs> Rot row. Well, I love being me. I don't get to see the ads. <laughs> Love creating names? Do you have like a naming scheme you use? Let's see. <laughs> Jimmy or Bob. Yes, I have created Bob, destroyer of worlds, eater of galaxies. I shall bestow upon the name Bob on the... Yeah, gem-like. I feel like, you know, like I mentioned from earlier, time is something I really gotta consider. That's a really good idea, the gem idea, crystally. So I think I'm gonna apply the properties of gems by making it really geometric. Yeah, word. There's nothing bad with generic names as well. So... Yeah, maybe to keep with the theme, I'll keep her... Eyelashes really long. To match her long... Eyebrows. Fire person. Let's see. Time to flip my canvas. Okay. Looks okay, I guess. But maybe I'll move a little bit. Doot, doot. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> yes. And then... Maybe, you know, this character is supposed to be an ice monarch, like an ice queen. So maybe I'll come up with like a really fancy hairstyle. Let's see. I'll keep her forehead visible maybe. And I know somebody mentioned icicle earrings and sharp ears. So maybe... Hmm. Something like this is what I think of. Maybe it's like icicles, like that, like hanging icicles. I think that's a nice design. Frost could be Catherine. <laughs> that's a nice name as well. Maybe I'll, oh, fancy bun, yeah. <laughs> Celeste vibes. Um. Maybe I'll give her like a choker. Then maybe like three dots. Or actually, what if it's like a snowflake design? So maybe that, that. So like little chevrons popping out. Just like with the snowflake, they have the little chevron thingy. So maybe I'll add that. And the eyes kind of off but that's okay i'll fix it when we go through the final draft i think yeah frost is very sudden but gentle yeah you think of names <laughs> they sound like insults what kind of names are you thinking of <laughs> and somebody mentioned a bun and I feel like having a braid to go with the bun would be nice as well. Let's see how I would do that. So maybe I got hair. Maybe I'll add the braids here. Boop. And I'll simplify the, the bun 
like I mentioned. And I wonder if I should add another piece of jewelry or if it's redundant. Let's see. I think I could safely say I don't need this idea anymore, so I'll dump that. Because I'm really warming up. <laughs> I'm warming up to this idea. Um, spiky bun. Alright, we were supposed to give her a... A tiara of sorts. So maybe... Okay. Then... Okay. Sits so top her hair. Like that. Make it look really light. <laughs> Elsa? <laughs> yeah, welcome back. I mean, don't worry about missing a few streams. It's always there, present. Yeah, so far, I really like the look of our Ice Queen here. And then, what else? Or you know what? I'll split up her hands. Because I feel like it's blocking too much of what we could be working with. And like I said before, you know, don't be afraid to erase stuff. And if you're really afraid of erasing stuff, take a picture of your drawing so that you remember what it looked like before. But me, yeah, I'm already like confident. Yeah, I think I should have drawn it like this in the beginning. Just so we could design. And then I want the poofy sleeves. That. And then maybe, let's see, I'll keep with the theme, like the, the staircase sort of design. So maybe I'll keep it like that. And, hmm, okay, one thing I noticed actually, maybe I'll, I'll keep the bottom straight here. Has a nice contrast so you can see the bottom is straight but then the bottom here has the staircase design top is straight but then this one has the staircase design i feel like it has a nice thing going so i won't touch that mm. pants and then let's see I'll try something actually, right here. Uh, doot, doot, doot. <laughs> Could be Estelle. Yeah, I gotta catch up with chats. Oh my gosh, I miss out so much. How is it poofy and pointy at the same time? <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe for this one, I had like an idea of like icicles. Hanging on her waist, like this one. But then, maybe on this one, I'll try something else. Let's see. Frostina. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to come up with a name like I usually do. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to commit to a name. I just let him be. But maybe on this one, like some sort of cloth. Um, hmm. So aesthetic. Yeah, clone, shadow clone jutsu. It's like. Da, 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 boom. <laughs> hmm. What time is it actually? Frigga and Fire Red. That's a nice name. I'm looking at the time as well. Important to consider, like I mentioned. But I feel like I like the one on the left way better. Yeah. Oh, this is getting out of hand. There are two of them. But yeah, this is our fire and ice design. 
And I guess I could hide these notes now. What was this? Okay, I could hide you. And I'll merge these two here. And I'll see. This is the speed run part. Now that we have our design, you know, that was a majority of our time. I'm gonna speed run. Speed run drawing them again. Would they have some sort of relationship? I don't know. I'll keep it simple, I think. Just because... Uh... Just because we don't got the time to decide. And this is what I mean from earlier. Like, sticking with your comfort zone. Because now, I can just like, have fun with it, you know? Yeah, and I feel confident that I'll be able to finish this in a in a timely manner. Just because I know like there won't be too much risk involved. Just uh time really. And then there. And then... Now that we have like a quick outline... Mm. Let's see. And I want her to look more like standing up straight. And I think I really like the pose we came up with in the beginning of her like holding or having her hands forward like this. Very regal pose. And there. <laughs> Alright. Speed run. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, this is the fun part. So this is why we learn. Because we learn a lot of the what's it called? The art fundamentals. So that we could do stuff faster, you know? And then Right, I want her to be a bit taller, so I'll do that. <laughs> you love my art style? Thank you! And I think her head is a bit too big. And this is a nice contrast that I didn't even realize, actually. I noticed in my design, the uh, fire girl, I don't know what to name her still. I can't decide. Everybody thought of a good name, so I can't settle on one. But her head is a little bit squished. And then for our Ice Queen, you know, her head's a little bit longer, you know, a little bit elongated. And then... Maybe they're like talking. Or actually, she doesn't look like... There we go. There. Just like a really basic... There. <laughs> Making two of them. Ferena Ferosa. I really like that. It rolls off the tongue really well. Ferena Ferosa. It kind of sounds like a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> mm. 
Nanti Nanti And I like to start off with the eyes first Just because I know people like to look there first And it's usually the first thing that people notice So a good rule of thumb Is to spend the most amount of time On the place you know people are gonna look at And deep and that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna, you know, try to compress maybe the fires on Ignita. Yeah, see, everybody has good names. How could I decide on one? This is why I really like nameless protagonists. <laughs> no, you decide the name. Ember. <laughs> Ember is a really simple one, which I like as well. And we'll draw her shoulders here. And then her little headband. Actually, now that I look at it, the headband sort of reminds me of the Naruto headbands because it has the the logo on it and everything. And then fire. And then poof. And you can see here that the way I'm sketching, I'm only giving myself enough information. I'm not exactly um, doing the full sketch just enough for you to understand where to go with the drawing and her boots doop, doop. and this is the nice thing about simple designs you know they're so easy to draw Pretty much just draw them easily in different poses, you know, easy to work with. Catherine. <laughs> and what else am I missing here? Right. And then I guess I couldn't see much of armor here, but I'll say like another layer right here it's just her neck like that and her hair very important and then really tall crown and the nice thing about Keeping it simple is that they're very geometric. It's easy to picture where or how it's going to look in different angles. And I slightly talked about it in my in the mech stream, right? Always learn your 3D shapes because 3D shapes could become anything you want. And do There. <laughs> I like how you guys are still discussing hmm, what should their name be. I, well, I guess you could leave them in the comments <laughs> once this gets archived and everything. And dress. And her little 
choker here. Then pants. Then crystal gloves. Let's see. I feel like I could be a cl bit closer. I'll make her lean a little bit forward. And maybe shift her eyes a little bit. Oh. Go. Oh wait, no. Combine it with the wrong layer. Like this anymore. <laughs> oh, Ruby. <laughs> That's a combination I never thought I'd see. Wednesday, Wednesday Adams family and Ruby, Ruby Rose. And then another important thing, never zoom in too much because you don't see the whole picture. Look at your drawing the way you would want to see it, you know, because when you see your drawing, you're not going to be just staring at one thing or the other and we start the whole thing. So I'm going to make this real big. And I think I'm going to start coloring now. And, hmm. Didn't decide on color. I should have. But maybe on another stream, I'll talk more about my coloring process. Doop, doop. Time is it? Okay. Enough time, I think. Okay. Maybe blue. Doop. Yeah, I think for her color scheme, I want it to be blue and pink, like a more purpley pink, because blue and purple are right next to each other in the color wheel. <laughs> Lucian. I think another thing that makes it hard to decide the name is that we don't really have a character yet. We only know what they look like. And I feel like if we have an idea of what they're like, then I think it'd make things easier. And then... I see blue. Or actually, way more... Not white. There. <laughs> Frostina's too direct. And there. Oh, actually. There. 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 And maybe I'll add, like, hmm, some sort of gradient. We'll see. Something like this. Or maybe gradient on here. Or a gradient from the top. Hmm. Yeah, crystal. Really simple name. I like it. Or maybe I'll keep her hair like plain, plain white. And I'll add the gradient onto the dress, maybe. And I like to draw without line art, just to keep things a bit quicker and move things along. I like to do the line art afterwards for the song. <laughs> Myra. I think that's already a thing. 
for a certain character. Certain fire character is already close to that name. And Yeah, I'm wondering actually, for the other themes, there was modern and there's one for sci-fi. What kind of pairing or dynamic would you have done? So for example, for sci-fi, would it be like a scientist and something else? Or for modern, I don't know, skater boy, <laughs> skater boy and schoolgirl. <laughs> I don't know what kind of dynamics would be for for modern. Ooh, steampunk. I think steampunk is well actually it could be, yeah, that could work for sci-fi. And then actually. Yeah. Alien designs. Miss Coldia. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a nice one. And then okay. and then maybe whitish pants. Okay. Dude. Yeah, this is how I like to do my artwork. I like to set in all the colors and then I merge them all. Yeah, steampunk could still work though for sci-fi. Still possible. Mm. Maybe I'll just make the slipper is the same color as the hair. Yep. Pretty quick like that. And then fire. Sci-fi. Fire could be the underground positions. Ooh. Or we could do like a cyborg and a human. That's another possible one. Let's see. Actually, I want her to be more golden. Gold like the sun. Or gold like an egg yolk. Yeah, egg yolk. And hmm, what else? Okay, I gotta do the helmet. I feel like a good color scheme for fire would be red and a magenta. Just so they could match something to unite them. So I'm gonna use like a really dark magenta for the metal. Maybe. We'll see. There. There. Then color it in. Nice helmet. Also, this is kind of a nice contrast because our ice queen is mostly bright colors, you know, lots of whites. And then our fire character could be lots of darks, dark black gray and all that yeah that's true not necessarily red could be like any color could be fantasy colored you know but i don't know i feel like people associate red with fire more often so i want to stick with that Dude. 
chest plate. Oh. Forgot to close the saw. Okay. This yellow is the opposite of purple. Yeah, it's kind of close. I think it's more blue. But purple still works. The opposite for yellow. Dang. Dang. Yeah, some parts could be bright blue. Hmm. I feel like magenta would be good because between red and blue is purple. So that's why I also picked a magenta. Right, I forgot doing this. And cleaning up my edges a little bit here. And then add the sleeves. Maybe like a bright red or like a whitish red to contrast with the dark armor. Doop. We count purple as cold or warm color. That's a good question. Because purple could be warm, like it leans more towards cold, but if you add like a little bit of red, it becomes magenta. And if it makes sense, it's the coldest warm color, if I had to say. So I would say it's more of a cold color, but you could make it work. You could make it a warm color if you wanted to. Because if you think of a sunset, right, sometimes a sunset could be purple. But I think most of the time I like using it as a cold color, if I had to say. I do like purple. I think I use it the most in my my artwork. And then maybe the cloth would be a nice red in here. Let's see. comic character has violet fire hair yeah i feel like green fire is also really cool even though it doesn't really exist naturally i think you gotta add certain powders on it like iron like certain metals i mean not necessarily iron but different metals i mean uh, where is it this one yeah copper i think purple yeah, copper is really interesting because apparently the Statue of Liberty, it used to be full orange back in the day. But then all that rust, all that time, turned it into like the nice aquamarine teal that we all know and love for the Statue of Liberty. Pretty neat. Yeah, I don't know if the artist had that in mind when they made the statue. It's pretty cool though. And then cape. Here. Yeah, so this is the way I'm using the, the layers in this case. I'm separating all my colors so that, you know, some colors could be under, some colors could be on top. Makes it easier to sort them out for me. Oh, iron red. Steel, wool, and fire. <laughs> Would green be a warm... Ah, oh, that's another good question. <laughs> I think it's the same ballpark as 
purple, where if you add more yellow, I think it would count as a warm color. But then if you add more blue, it's definitely a cold color. So yeah, it just depends on where it's leaning. But yeah, I'd say that green is warmer than purple though, if I had to compare. And that. Little boots. And then her other hand right here. And then now I'm going to draw the details. Forgot to draw her crown here. And maybe her crown is going to be the brightest. Maybe. Right here. Not very obvious right now, but fix that later. And now, I feel like I have enough information to do this. Let's see. Gonna add a little bit of red gradient onto the fire here. Yeah, a little bit pinkish, just so it's a nice and cool sorta red. Then a little bit of here. And her eyebrows. Let's see her eyebrows. And then blood red. Yeah, we never had that experiment in school of like putting different powders in the, the fire. And then maybe I'll make the mouth dark red. Yeah, I just really wanted to see these characters in color. And to see how far I could go as fast as I can. And deep. And for stage magic, that's cool. Yeah, Earth. Favorite magic? Yeah, I'd say Earth. Because, you know, Earth is everywhere. And you could mold it. You could craft something with it. You could make like a house, a shelter with Earth magic. Just feel like it's a cool time. And maybe... There. Doot. Doot. Yeah, air is cool because you could fly if you wanted to. Um, let's see. I wonder if I should add eye whites actually. Let me try adding eye whites. Maybe a bit darker. Mm. 
Yeah, I know about eye whites. Or just keep it like that. I feel like I'll just keep it like this. And... And finally, I'm gonna add... An earth water sign. Yeah, how do you know? Yeah, if you think about it, water's like really OP. Because it could control so many things. Especially if you've seen Avatar. Maybe pink. <laughs> I mean, also you could like bend the plants, right? The those water benders in the swamp for Avatar. They would stay in the swamp and they would use the the water and the plants to bend them around and stuff. It's pretty cool. And white. Actually, I'll make this darker. And add a little bit more. <laughs> Thank you. And you know what? To keep it brief, okay, I could get rid of the sketch now because I have a good idea where this artwork is going. But I like to do, I'll merge it. It's one layer. And I might go just a little bit over time just to clean this drawing up, but it won't take too long. <laughs> Water's dangerous, for sure. <laughs> Shoddy like a melody in my head. Na 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 every day. Always look and replay. Actually, it doesn't look like she's looking at her. So let me fix that. <laughs> Sister vibes. It's funny. There we go. And then I'll fix it up a little bit. There we go. Add like a little. There we go. That looks so much better than before. And then add smile. And all right, got to look at my reference again. Right, I forgot all her jewelry. So maybe let's add a little bit of detail. <laughs> Yo, now that you mention it, this kind of looks like Flame Princess, you're right. <laughs> oh no, I accidentally created somebody who already exists. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of uh, Lapis Lazuli from Steven Universe. Somebody discovered an anime back in like the 60s or something, and it looked exactly like Lapis, if you know her. And I'm going to use like simple shapes to represent her braid right here. And deep. There. And then a little bit of a bright blue. To highlight just a little bit. Of her features. And then the bun. 
Uh, I'm gonna use a pro gamer move here. Tit. Oh wait. Where is it? What did it look like? I got that. For jewelry. Um, tit. Maybe I'll add eye whites on the second second thought. Or ice. <laughs> How so? What amazes you about lineless line art? Or lineless line art. <laughs> lineless artwork, sorry. Pretty. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. I'll make the armor sparkly in a little bit. It's just that I know people will be looking more at the face. So... I'm definitely going to do the face first. And see, another nice thing about one layer, you don't got to look for it. You just uh, draw on it. Just one layer. Um, maybe a little bit dark here. And then I'll make the armor shiny like requested. Doop. Just add. This is how I make things shiny. I build from darkest to lightest. And when you're making something shiny, it's better to use colors sparingly. You know, so the brightest color should save that. Don't use it too often. Otherwise, it won't look as bright. So right now, I'm just describing the shape of it using light. Dude. And I'm trying to see the armor we designed again. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Linus artist thing. Yeah, that's what I mean, right? We gotta look at both of them as a whole. And then there we go, we design them. Both of them as a whole, and then they could work together. And then maybe I'll add like a little bit of a gold. Because I know I haven't added the sun yet. So I'll add that. that. So there's the sun icon. And a bit of you. Then just a bit of simple details. I don't know if I could make the the armor shiny in time actually, because I'm already over time. <laughs> but I feel like this artwork is worth touching up even just a little bit. Boxes are so loud. <laughs> doot, doot. I've never heard a fox, let alone seen one in real life. Um, right, I need to add a little bit of detail to her eyebrows as well. Um, there. Oh, big sleeves. Uh, what about big sleeves? I missed it. I must have. Uh, Um, right, I need to add more detail to her outfit. Give it more detail. Something like this. And I'll make her wear gloves right here. Skunk. 
Why would you want a skunk for a pet? Gotta give it bats and everything more often. And then I think I'll add. Here. Here. Yeah, I'll just uh, keep it simple, I think. I think I should wrap up soon. So I'll just keep it simple by adding some outlines on her little choker. Yeah, I wish I could spend more time, but I don't want to hold everybody too long. <laughs> Reasons. I see. Very based. Gotta say. Let's see. Yeah, maybe in about a few minutes. Try. Try and see how far I could go. No, it's speed running, but now. This is beyond speed running. Go further. Doot, doot, doot. And then checking the reference again, trying to see what I missed. Okay, I missed like the little shoulder clips, I guess I would say over here. And then the little hanging stuff. And a little bit shadow. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to catch up with chat now. Is it normal for other people to forget their art style? I mean, yeah, it makes sense. If you don't practice it, you will you will forget. <laughs> but it's not like it's lost forever. You'll get it back. You just gotta try and remember, you know? And then... Okay, gotta look at it as a whole again. Trying to see what I missed. Okay, I missed the little... Holes, actually, on the armor. Yeah, your art still could change over time as well. Like, for me, I used to do a lot of line art, but then... I didn't really like how constricting it was, so I practiced this style, and here I am. I can draw without line art really quick, too. So I'm trying to see, maybe I'll fix a little bit of proportions as well with magic. Doot, doot. And I think I should call it here, actually. I'll see. I really want to keep working on it, though. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is the struggle. So many ideas. Not enough time. Yeah, you know, I've always wanted to do an endurance stream. So, like, I would stream for as long as I can. Until I just like decide to be, you know, to stop streaming. What's your thought on Capybara? Well, I'll save it because I think I'll ask a question before I answer that. What if I did like an endurance stream? Would you guys see that? Like six hours, me drawing. <laughs> But capybaras are very nice. Gotta say, one of the chillest animals in Animal Kingdom. And here. Try to see what else I missed. And a little shine. And there, there, there. And then shiny gold. 
<laughs> could be interesting. Yeah. Longer the better. And the nice thing about it is, you know, you get to see a full piece, you know, from start to finish. So yeah, I'll think about it. I'll ask to do that. Because I feel like it'd be a lot of fun. But yeah, what do you guys think so far of the artwork? Actually, zooming out now and everything. What do you guys think I should add before I wrap up? Love the colors, thank you. You can see it's a nice contrast. And I really wanted to do something different from like the usual archetype. You know, where they're opposites, polar opposites, enemies or whatever, or they can't be together. So I wanted something different. Ooh. I feel like light shining from armor to from the fire. I think we just don't have enough time for it. Add a shadow. Okay, well. Maybe I will. Let's see. Shadow to our characters. Oh. Hold up. Gotta merge you. There. Then shadow, but then I'll add like a little bit of a glow. There. And then get dark, but then not too dark. Then I'll add a little bit of a glow from the the fire. Or you know what? I might as well. I'll do this. Actually, I was thinking of doing... Uh, we were thinking of doing a video on layers. So at some point... Wait for that. Because oh. this is one of my favorite layer modes. The glow dodge. Just make things glow, basically. But, we'll see. Yeah, maybe it does go out. Or maybe she wears like a hat, you know. She wears a hat so that it keeps the fire covered up, but not exactly, uh... Not, doesn't exactly put it out. But, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here. But, before I go, you know, I want to remind you guys, not just a YouTube channel, we're also an art school. So... Be sure to check out our classes if you're interested. And I teach advanced cartooning and anime if you guys want to take my class. And if you want to keep supporting us to make free content, you know, you can support us on YouTube, become a member. Or you could go on Patreon, then you could get this file and all other files that uh, we've ever worked on. So yeah, I hope you guys had fun. And... Always remember, when you guys are designing, put lots of thought, you know, associate stuff, and yeah, putting more thoughts into your designs really adds a lot. Yeah, thanks everybody for staying. See ya. Bye bye.